yo soy un uh, inmobiliario, oh, inmobiliario de raíces. So, real estate. Ah, bueno, bueno. Mm -hmm. No, that's how you call it in, in Mexico, an inmobiliario, right? That's what, what they're called, a realtor. Sí, yes? inmobiliario. Mm -hmm. I don't Inmobili know if you have to add the uh, bienes ra raíces. Is that how you say it? Here in Colombia, we would say un agente, un agente inmobiliario. Oh, okay. Un agente or, inmobiliario. O un agente de bienes raíces. Okay. Bienes raíces. Bienes raíces? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Bienes raíces, uh, real estate. Oh, okay. Uh, like a real what estate. Is, but what does inmobiliario mean? It's like agent, right? I mean, really? that it, 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 it's, it, it also means real estate, it, it, that it's got something to do with real estate. Like, it's tricky. It's tricky because immobiliario is an adjective indeed. Uh, but bienes raíces is more like real estate. Like, you could say that immobiliario is the adjective of real estate. <laughs> kind uh, of. I, okay. okay. But both of them, you could say that they're pretty much the same thing. So, yeah, this is... Y Dustin, ¿tú eres un profesor? Uh, no, uh, es un asistente principal. Ah, sí. Y okay. tengo But, un trabajo en el supermercado Kroger. Ah, uh, sí, ya. Yeah. Porque Kroger uh, es de Cincinnati, ¿no? Yeah, sí, sí. Uh, es un trabajo yo tengo por muchos años y es, es muy divertido. Ah, uh, sí. Okay. Y muy, muy fácil. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, you've been doing that before. You actually got this job at the school? Sí, sí. Um, necesito um, que, que, que darte, like, or que darme. Like, I need to stay. Um, necesito quedarme. Quedarme eh, con el compañero por un año más porque... El compañero paga por mi universidad. Like, they paid for my school. Ah. Wow. So, I, I have to stay there. Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, like, that was a good deal for you, wasn't it? Ah, sí, sí, muy bueno. I mean, university can be really expensive in the States. Like, like how much would, would, would have been your, your university if you, if you had been the one who paid it? <sighs> No sé exacto porque a veces um, fui tiempo parte porque no quiero pagar con mi dinero. Like, I never wanted to pay myself. So they were paying five to six thousand a semester. So, mm -hmm. like, I would take the max I could. But it took me, like, five years to graduate. Okay. So, okay, yeah. So they gave you a lot of money. If you see, <laughs> see. And that's a lot of money, like definitely. That was a good deal. I didn't know that. You hadn't told me that before. Oh, sí, sí. Yeah, es, es muy bueno. Uh, yo recomendé a todo. Okay, so, so these are like some kind of uh, scholarships that this company gives away to people? It's a uh, tuition reimbursement. No sé la palabra, pero reimbursement. ¿Cómo se dice reimbursement? Reimbursement. How I don't even know how you you spell that. How do you spell that? I've never um, heard that word. Well, no, it's not important. Like you have to pay the money up front, and then as long as you pass with B's or A's, you got your money back. So it was like a good deal. Like it motivated you to do the work, but also like you weren't out any money. So like I, I liked it. You know, like uh, they paid for my masters, my undergrad, everything. So like, wow, yeah, that's that's great. Y cómo What's your degree? Uh, mi primero de grado es en inglés, literatura, y tengo dos masters. La primera es en uh, consejero, like a, a therapist or counselor for students. Okay. Y la otra es en uh, administración de las escuelas. Uh, wow, muy inteligente ese hombre aquí. No, 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 no. Es muy fácil, es muy, muy fácil. <laughs> I mean, like, definitely. I mean, and you're about to turn 33, right? Sí, en junio. Es triste. Yeah. 
You're, you're the sort of you're the sort of guy who makes who, who makes me think that I haven't done shit with my life. No, no, tú has, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tú I mean, like the... masters and all of that stuff. I mean, that took you so much effort, time, money. No, even no, in... it's muy fácil. In verdad, uh, in my último último año, no leer o no. Um, Compré los libros por la escuela y es, me escuché to, en todas las clases y toma muy buenas notas y yo toma las pruebas y the rest is history. Like, it's anybody can do it. Yeah. You think, being very humble. No, 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 no. It is verdad. No, you know what? I think that, that, that the, um, the, the, like the trick the trick about about everything is being disciplined because there are many talented people like I, i think we all know those those talented people like they're kind of genius sí. but they they aren't disciplined enough like they just they're, they're right. so genius that they fuck their lives up just because they, they like they're so genius that they don't give a fuck about doing anything oh <laughs> sí, sí. Uh, oh um. yeah it's hard to be disciplined sí. yeah Mm -hmm. Yo tengo un primo, él, um, él, a, él a estudió en una universidad de Colombia, es uh, una muy gran universidad en, y en la país, es like una de las mayores research institutions. Y ahora él no tengo una esposa. <laughs> No tengo un apartamento. Ahora, mi primo, ahora, hoy, está viviendo en la casa de mi tío. Like, wow. it's like yeah, that's, he's yeah, so like, smart and has all these credentials, but, like, he can't interact with people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are people like that as well. <laughs> and, and that's the other thing. People, like, if you don't, if you don't socialize... There's no way you can make a good living. Like it's just, I would say it's almost impossible to make a good living if you're not good. If you, how do you say that in English? A people's person. Yeah, like, a lot of people are introverts and they become scientists or they become engineers. You so, know, mm -hmm. all the people in the tech world. You know, they're a lot of times they're very introverted, but they they can make a good living because they're super smart. See, well that. They, Two things. They're, they're smart, but they're disciplined. What you were saying about right, well, like right, right. <laughs> so, the... uh, okay. So guys, uh, so pretty much you already got the idea of what we're doing here. So the exercises that I put up that I'm sharing with you in each lesson is because that's how I sharp I help you sharpen your knowledge regarding your Spanish knowledge. But the idea is that on the go, you help me create questions. So you can ask one another or ask me so you can practice your Spanish and then we can have some conversation going while we're doing the lesson. Okay, okay. so uh, let's get started. So Chip, um, let me see if this is low. Okay, so Chip, go ahead. Pronunciation of this one. Estoy completamente en contra. Estoy completamente, completamente en contra. Uh, yes. I'm completely against it. I'm completely against it. Yes. So, Chip, what are you complete? How would you say against to? Oh, okay. Um, estoy complete, completamente en contra de Señor Trump. <laughs> ¿Por qué? <laughs> ¿Por qué no? <laughs> <laughs> ¿Por qué no? Good, 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 good answer. Good, good answer. ¿Por qué no? Okay, good. Dustin. Sorry, I hope I didn't uh, offend you, Dustin. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dustin, ¿qué piensas? Uh, ¿De Trump o la pregunta? <laughs> de, de Trump, de Trump. ¿Qué piensas de Trump? Uh, no me gusta. Um, uh, no me gusta. You don't like him. No me cae bien. Remember that? See, It's no, good. no, I don't fit well with him. No, me no cae bien. Did, did you know that, Chip, that you can say no me cae bien? No me cae bien? Yes. Cae. So, so you can say no me gusta, 
or you could say no me cae bien. Now, what's the difference? The difference is when you say no me cae bien, it means that you don't think he's a nice guy. Oh, okay. Okay, but if you say no me gusta, is what you say when you don't feel attracted to a person, to a woman. So you would oh. say, like, do you like her? So you, you might respond, no me gusta. So it's okay. more polite? Not, not polite, it's just that you would use gustar when we're speking about likes and dislikes, or when we, but you would say no me cae bien. Yeah, but you would say no me cae bien when, we see, when we're saying that we don't think that someone, sp specifically speaking about the person, you would say that you don't think that person is cool, that, okay. that you don't think that person is kind or nice, that you don't think that person is okay in right. some okay. No me cae bien con Trump. Exactly. No me cae bien Trump. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's continue. Uh, so, Dustin, uh, approximately. Approximadamente. Approximadamente. Again, approximadamente. Approximadamente. Aproximadamente. Yes. Um, Dacin, ¿cuánto te tomó aproximadamente? ¿Cuánto te tomó? Te tomó aproximadamente terminar tus maestrías. Uh, cinco días. Cinco días. Cinco días. Okay, so what did you understand? Uh, how many of my okay uh, how many ha have I had to terminate how many teachers have I had to terminate no like how how long did it take you approximately oh. finish your masters oh um, mi otomo in un año El último, in total, like from this, from scratch, like from, from your degree till your master's? Y, sí, uh, mi último de grado, mi maestría es uh, 15 clases. Okay, so yeah, but like you started college, so from oh. that moment on, since, since you started college till the very last day that you went to a college, so in total. Oh, um... How many took, years did it take? I took one year off after high school, so uh, dos mil cinco hasta dos mil dieciséis once años. Once años. Sí. Shit, <laughs> that's a long time. <laughs> sí, pero yo trabajo eh, y todo el tiempo y. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's bueno. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Chip, let's do this one. Uh, how do you say Japan? Uh, Japón. Yeah, Chip, ¿alguna vez has estado en Japón? Uh, se lesiona los pares, se lesiona. No, check, check this out. ¿Alguna vez has estado en Japón? Oh, uh, sí. Uh, ¿Sí? Estaba, eh, esté o estaba. Estuve. Estuve. Uh -huh. Estuve en Japón cuando yo, uh, cuando uh, yo tengo dos años. Cuando tenías dos años. Sí. <laughs> you don't remember that, do you? No puedo, uh, uh, me recuerdo, uh, porque mi padre y mi madre uh, vive in, vivía en Japón. Ok, so... Mi, mi hermano uh, nació ahí. Ok, and you, you were born in Japan as well, or no, weren't no. you? I was... Nuevo México. I was dos, tenía dos años. Okay, you were two years old. So, 
Does this, what's the name of, of the religion that, that you told me about? Your parents' religion? Oh, um, Baha'i. But it's not, not, not for eso. Porque okay. mi padre es militaria. Militar. Militar, sí. Okay. Uh, Air Force, ¿cómo se dice? Yeah. Eh, la Fuerza Aérea. La Fuerza Aérea. La Fuerza yeah. Aérea. Oh, yeah, you, the religion is from Hawaii, right? Mm, sí. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's continue. Um, Chip, uh, husband, how do you say husband? Um, esposo. Esposo. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a very interesting question, Chip. ¿Qué piensas de los matrimonios? D Dustin, this is why we come to these classes, because he's more of a psychologist than a Spanish teacher. <laughs> sí, claro, claro. Am I? No, I'm just asking random questions. Well, the idea is that you also help me out asking random questions. You can ask me anything. Okay. <laughs> ¿Qué piensas de los matrimonios? Uh, estuve matri... Uh, how do I say married? Estuve casado. Ah, estuve casado dos veces. Okay. Muy bueno. Sí. So, two, two times. So, how long were your marriages? Like, I know that one of them was like 20 years, right? Sí, not so much. <laughs> um, 19 years, okay. La primera, cuando fin de colegio, uh, mm. estuve casado... Uh, para siete años y, y tené, tenemos una hermana. ¿Una hermana? ¿Qué do you mean? Uh, uh, one daughter. Ah, oh, hija. hija. Sorry, hija. Right. Yes. Hermana is sister, sorry. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, y después... Um, Casó, no, casé. Me casé. Me casé otra vez. Y para... Um, um, noven, no, no, 90. 19 años. Y ten, tenemos tres hijas. Hijos. Hijos. Ok. Ok. Yeah. Good. So... What do you think about marriages? Like, what's your opinion about marriages? Uh, it's okay with me. Okay. Come <laughs> on, come on. I, I know that you've, got, that you've got so much to say, so at least share your piece of advice regarding <laughs> marriages. Sí, en it's, too, it's too big of a topic to say in Spanish. I have no idea how to right. even start. Right, try, try to, to say as, as much as you can in Spanish. Sí, claro, claro. Tú hablas muy bien, Chef. <laughs> um, si una persona quiere casar, es posible muy bien. Uh, pero uh, ten, uh, tiene que uh, saber o conocer. Saber, saber, saber su esposa muy, muy bien. No, no, in that case is conocer. Yeah, oh. like, like, yeah, conocer. Oh, no, you have to know your spouse really well. Yeah. yeah, conocer a tu esposa muy bien. Sí, no conocé mi esposa muy bien en la primera vez. Entonces, mm, um, we didn't know enough about each other. Sí. Nos, no nos conocíamos, no nos conocíamos. No nos conocíamos. Lo suficiente. Lo suficiente. No sí. Nos okay. ¿Cuánto crees, cuánto crees, cuánto tiempo crees prudente para conocer lo más lo más relevante relevante acerca de una esposa potencial oh boy. ¿cuánto tiempo crees prudente para conocer lo más relevante hacer acerca 
de yes. una esposa potencial. So, what do you understand? Like, what do you think the translation of that? How much time do you believe is prudent? Yeah. To know something relevant about your potential wife? Yeah, like the most relevant thing about your potential wife. It's different for todos, todos los personas. personas. Okay. Uh, but if, pero, if you were to guess, if, if you were to guess, what would you say? Like, I mean, like, like you would say, like, I mean, like, if it's less than two years, don't do it. Or if it's less than one year, don't do it. Or... Um, yo creo dos años minimum. Minimum. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Good. Chip, ¿crees es mejor a vivir con um, tu novia antes de un boda o no? Um, is it better to live with your novia? Is that what you said? Your girlfriend? Sí. Uh, Posible, sí, porque en dos, dos uh, cases, how do I say that? Dos both, cases? Both, in both examples or both times, both veces, um, no vivía, no vivía, no vivía en uh, ambos, no, no viví, ok. No viví con mi novia. Entonces, um, no con, conocí. Ok, Ander, uh, doy mi opinión. Yeah, go ahead. Um, creo que uh, casado es muy bien, pero es como todo cosas en vida. Eh, ellos que quieren um, estar feliz es posible, pero es en todo tus manos. Like it's all in your control. Okay. okay. ¿Y cómo? Casi. Casarse es chevre. Chevre, sí. Es, what does that mean? Like, marriage is nice, like mm -hmm. everything else in life. Eh, ellos que quieren estar feliz es posible. Like, if you want to be happy, you can. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's a choice. Sí, sí. Yeah. No, you know, Pero, like... Like Chip just mentioned something that I didn't know uh, about him, and it's a very good thing. Like I've always thought that that well, that's what I have seen. Like in my like all the acquaintances and friends, is like the most successful relationships are those who lived in the same house for five years before actually getting married. So, so that's 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 a part that I've been watching that that. At least it's you're, you're kind of making a much more informed decision about what you're going to do. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Sí, mi esposa y yo um, fuimos juntos por diez años. Oh, sí. <laughs> sí. You, you live together? You live together? No, no, no. We were together for like uh, 10 years and y nos vivimos uh, juntos por... Un año y medio. Okay, but it was after after 10 years of relationship, then right. lived one year and a half, and then you got married. So, like, we were together for, like, eight and a half years, and we moved in to this house. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then you got married. You really knew each other, and you knew if you were compatible. Sí, sí. And I, and I mean, like after that time, you must know all the red flags. Like, like if there is any red flag, you 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 know what it is. <laughs> sí, sí. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's continue, Chip. Um, so support. How do you say support? Uh, uh, apoyar. 
Apoyar, yes. Apoyar. Now, when we speak about about kids, like when you support your children financially, we yeah. say, yo mantengo a mis hijos. Mantengo. Yes, yo that's, mantengo a mis hijos. Mm. That's, that's I, 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 I support my children. Now, some sort of an insult that we use here is that we say that a person is a supported. <laughs> so in Spanish, uh, that is mantenido. So that's like a, that's a put down? Yeah, it's like when, when you say that someone is a mantenido, it's, it's probably because you're kind of implying that you would like your, your, your kid, your son or your daughter to work. Like, yeah, I, I support, like, he's a supported. Like, you will call him like that, like, he's a supported. Ah, sí, sí, sí. But, like, she's a supported. But, but it's kind of insulting them, like, like, hey, you need to work. <laughs> I mean, like, like you sí. can work right now. <laughs> sí, yo tengo, yo tengo un, una hija que es mantenido. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 yeah, you got a point, you got a point. Um, so let's do this one. Uh, Chip, go ahead, pronunciation. Uh, después del. Después del, yes. Um, Chip, ¿qué te gusta hacer después de hacer ejercicio? Uh, ¿Qué te gusta hacer después de hacer Ejercicio. Um, sueño. So, <laughs> so, so how uh, would you say, I like, I like taking a nap? How would you say that? Uh, ¿Qué te gusta hacer después de hacer ejercicio? Um, yo, uh, yo me gusta or yo cae. No, no, no. That's the, the other one. Me gusta... Uh, hacer un, I don't know, tomar. Una... Siesta, yes. oh yes. Sí, me gusta uh, tomar una siesta. Ok, Dustin, ¿tomas siestas? Eh, ¿Cada cuánto tomas una siesta? Um, eh, <laughs> eh, antes de COVID, no mucho, pero ahora... <laughs> Pero it's, ahora, your, it's your favorite part of the day. <laughs> sí, normalmente 30 o 20 minutos. Todos Every los day? Días. Sí. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 makes, that makes you productive. I, 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 I do it every day. Sí, well. sí por ejemplo, hoy uh, cre, um, corrí cuatro uh, millas y Tu, tuve un pequeña siesta y ahora en clase es muy bueno. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's continue. So, Chip, pronunciation. Las modas de este año son completamente diferentes. Las modas de este año son completamente diferentes. Yeah, so what would the correct answer be? Uh, <clears throat> this year's styles, no. Let's see, uh, this year's fashions are completely different. Yes. Eh, Chip, ¿te gusta seguir alguna moda? ¿Te gusta seguir alguna moda? ¿Moda? ¿Fashion? Yeah. Um, do I like some fashion or what? Like, like following any trend or any fashion? Uh, see, I wear... High heels and uh, well, wigs sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's it. Sí, sí. What wow, do you do? You like? Do you like uh, any trend? Puro uh, trabajo. Me encanta um, Polo. Es un es un brand. Es muy bueno. Like okay. uh, I really like those shirts. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, Not okay. like the brand, like the like the the style, like uh, like yeah, not the brand, but the style. Yeah, like okay. They don't all the way button up. <laughs> like a polo, like so, a polo shirt. Yeah, like I, man. 
me encanta uh, diferente polo, uh, tipo polo, like different types of polo shirts, like, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. A race. How do you say race? Uh, race. Levantar. Yes, generally. Generalmente. Yes, German. Alemán. Yeah, now there is something that you should keep in mind. There is, we all, we use this word in Spanish as a as a name, as a person's name, as a man, as a male person's name. What so, Alemán. Yeah, no, just as in English, and but we pronounce it like Germán. Germán, sí. Oh, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Germán, so yeah, so keep that in mind because sometimes... Herman. I like it's very funny when I'm teaching this to 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 English learners and they're like Herman so what what does Herman has have to do with that sentence and I'm like no German is Alemán in Spanish so so they think but it's the name possibly as uh, Herman like Herman Herman Her sí, sí. yeah exactly. we, have name, we have a name in English called Herman but it's with a with a h then H. Yeah, so it probably came from from it, but since our pronunciation, like that, uh, that, that sound is from a G or a, or a J, then that's probably why it sort of evolved that way in the spelling. So keep that in mind, definitely. So, Aleman, uh, ourselves, Chip. Oh, no, so ourselves, nosotros mismos. Yes, and then? Okay. Okay. Good. Um, so that's in pronunciation. Hoy es un día completamente nuevo. Hoy es un día completamente nuevo. Um, today is a completely new day. Today is a new day. Yes. Okay. Uh, Chip, question. ¿Cómo haces para motivarte los días que... Te levantas con eh, baja energía. ¿Cómo haces para motivarte? Mo motivarte. Motivarte los días que le levantas con baja energía. So what motivates me to get up? Yeah, but like the days when you're kind of low. Oh, I see. Like when I need energy, levantas con yeah, baja. Like the, yeah, like with low oh, energy. Low energy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Los días que mm, cuando tengo baja energi energía, yo necesito más café. Más café. <laughs> How many cups? How many cups do you drink a day? Solamente dos en la mañana. Okay, okay. But is that every day or, or only the days when you're sort of low, like you're kind of tired? That Todos los días misma. Lo mismo. mismo. Lo mismo, sí. Okay. Very, very regimen. Every day, two, two cups. Okay, what about you, Dustin? Uh, eh, no tomo café. Uh, uh, no, I don't. No, yo no tomo café. Um, pero en días con el uh, pequeño cosas. Um, no sé la palabra, but like a lot of stretching, like stand up. You know, every hour at my job, I can really stand. Um, Okay, so stretching is estir estirar. 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 Pararme. That's to stand up. Um, estirar, pararme. I, I would say, yeah, stretching, estirar, and pararme to stand up. What else did you say? Eh, no mucho. Uh, like trato tener ocho horas de... Dormir todos los noches. Like, I always try to get, like, eight hours. Ocho, trato de dormir ocho horas al día. Sí. 
Mm -hmm. But uh, Miro Choras, definitely sleep is one, like, a huge deal. At least for me, that's, like, very, very big. Like, if I don't sleep eight hours at least, I'm fucked the, ne the next day. I'm, like, like a zombie. <laughs> okay, um, so Chip, each. How do you say each? Cada. Yeah, completely. Completamente. Yes, uh, three. Tres. And uh, Chip, how do you say trees? Arboles. Arboles, yes. Uh, rap? Rap is rap. Yeah. Books? Libros. Libros, good. Chip, how many... ...lees al año? ¿Cuántos libros lees al año? No sé exactamente. Posible... Cuatro o cinco libros al año. Uh, me, a mí me gusta um, oír libros. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, audio libros. Audio libros. Audio. Audio libros. Sí. Uh -huh. A mí me gusta uh, 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 oír audio libros también. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál fue el último libro? ¿Cuál fue el último libro que escuchaste o leíste? Oh, ok. Uh, let's see. Um, la última libro que he escuchaste? No. El último libro que escuché. Escuché. Uh, es... Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Um, un, un libro de um, Michelle Obama. Se okay, dice, that's, that's his wife. Yeah, Obama's yeah, wife. Yeah. Uh, it, it's okay. called Becoming. I don't know. No sé. Okay. Okay, Becoming. Mm -hmm. Es una mm. historia de su vida. No, okay. Ok. Sing. Historia nice. es verdad, ¿no? ¿Historia qué? Verdad. Like a true story. Say historia, historia de la vida real. Ah, historia de la vida real. Sí. Yes. That book, I, every time that, that, I that I read a quote from The Art of Not Giving a Fuck, <laughs> giving, I, every time, every time I, I, I read a quote on Instagram about that book, I read it. And it's very cool. Like, it's very, very nice book. But you were the one who told me about it. It's, it's very nice. Yes, I read this book too. Dustin, have you read that book? No, no, but I know. You must yeah. read it. It's a must-read book in your life. You must read it. It's, it's, it's very, very nice. Eh, Dustin, how many books do you read a year? Twenty or twenty. Cuatro, no sé exacto. Seriously? Sí, pero es diferente. ¿Qué libros lees? ¿Qué libros lees así? Uh, ¿Qué tipo me gusta o la último? Eh, ¿Te gustan en general? ¿Qué te, ¿De qué te gusta leer? Uh, fiction, en, en verdad. Me, okay. me gusta mucho. Uh, pero otra cosa es. Uh, la última book uh, o libro que lee es Yardi, es uh, in my basement, es, es Victor Headley, es uh, muy bueno, es una, es una artista en, Jama en Jamaica, pero él vivía en in, uh, Inglaterra, me gusta la libro mucho, Yardi. Okay. Yardi. Ok. I've never heard it, but... Okay. It's fiction. <laughs> sí, it's fiction, pero es... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Based? What? It's like, like based on a real event, but like names and stuff are different. Like history. Uh, like be basado, basado en hechos reales. Sí, basado en hechos like, reales. Like based on uh, real facts? Sí. Yeah. Okay. Eh, Chip, ¿cuál es el libro más largo que has leído? ¿Cuál es el libro más largo 
Que has leído? How, what, the yes. biggest one I ever read? Yeah. Um, yo creo un libro se llama Egyptian, The Egyptian. Um, so, what is it about? It's about Egypt. It's a, it's a uh, story I read a long time ago when I was a kid, but I remember it was such a big book. I was like... <laughs> um, yeah? Yeah. How many pages? Uh, Do you remember how many pages? No, I don't know. Yeah, you know it was the, the biggest you've ever read. <laughs> Egypt. Via uh, okay. via a Egypt in Opesaro or no? No. Okay. You too? No, no. Ah, uh, yo quiero um uh, ir ahí. But what's the what's the average temperature over there? Do you know? Oh, muy mucho calor. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I hate hot, hot weather. It's hot, humid weather. It's definitely not my favorite places to go. Es una calor seca, Anderson. Yeah. Sí. So. In Estados Unidos, decimos decimos calor seca, o como en Kentucky es un calor húmedo. No. Okay. Sí, sí. I don't think I have ever experienced that that hot, dry weather ever. Like, right. like hot weathers here in Colombia are usually humid. So, uh, don't tenemos, be... oh, tenemos los dos. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've I've never I've never felt that. But I mean, hot weather. I don't I I don't think it's a good idea anyway. <laughs> So let's do this one, uh, Dustin. Generally, the meat is red. So okay. General, generalmente, eh, la carne es roja. La carne es roja. Eh, good. Chip, eres vegetariano? No. Uh, no. Uh, a mí me gusta carne. Bueno, Chip, bueno. ¿Cómo cuidas tu dieta? ¿Cómo cuidas tu dieta? Chip. ¿Cómo cuidas tu dieta? Cuidas, ¿qué es cuida? How do you watch your diet? How do you take care of your diet? Oh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, ¿Cómo se dice? Just like um, whole, whole good uh, food. So if it's... Uh, I don't know, I can't even think. In carne, uh, se, uh, I don't know. <laughs> not coming up with it. It's like, it's like just healthy food, you know, like not eating junk food. ¿Y prefieres carne orgánico? Sí, orgánico. Um, so if I cook something, I make it from scratch, and it's not coming from a box or a can. Uh, so vegetables de orgánica o um, holística, no sé. Y por ejemplo, Chip, cuando tú tienes pasta, no usa un caja. Sí. Uh, he hecho. Uh, from scratch, see, ¿sí? so, cebolas y tomatos y gar garlic, I don't know how it's garlic. Ajo? Um, yes. Ajo, mm -hmm. ajo sí, si, sí, um, hecho con, con estas um, comidas, no de preparado. Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't have pre-prepared food. No, what did I say that? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, preparada, comida preparada. Oh, comida, yeah, yeah you could say comida rápida. Comida enlatada, comida enlatada. That is, what did you say? Tinned food? Tinned, um, canned food? 
Canned food, right. Yeah, canned oh. food. Comida en la tab. Mm -hmm. So you try to make it all like like as fresh as possible. Sí, fresco. As as fresh and as possible and and the and um what's the other thing? Like not pro not processed, like not processed food, like at least processed possible. Sí. That's okay. that's my philosophy. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not a vegetarian or gluten free or you know all these different diets. I don't have any diet because because I've heard about this alkaline diet, but it's like very extreme. Like I've heard about that. I've read a little bit. Dustin, have you read about that? Uh, no, um, pero es un cosa eh, quiero leer porque tengo un amigo. Él dice es muy bueno. Es es diferente de todo. Like he says, it's different from everything, and he feels better than he ever has. Yeah, como like se, everyone. Se llama, como se llama? Alkaline uh, diet. Alkaline. alkaline. Oh, C C C. Yeah, uh, like, I, like everyone I've heard. I've heard, that, speaking about this diet, they say that they feel so much that they get sick way less than they, than they get, like, before. I mean, it's like... But the thing is that I was reading mm -hmm. about the way that you should do it and like the variety, like it's not that variety if 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 you if you check the list of the food and the, and stuff that you that it's alkaline because there is alkaline neutral and acid and acid food. But the ones that, that belong to the alkaline diet is like a very short list of, of food. At least the one that I had a look at. I'm not sure about other 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 things that you can get, but it's it's worth y trying. Y muchas comidas verdes. Yeah, exactly. Like for alkaline is very is very green. Like it's a lot of vegetables. It it, it mm -hmm. includes a lot of vegetables. So something. No me, that is, no me gusta porque porque uh, entonces no puedo beber alcohol y café. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. There are just too many things, too many things that we are so used to having like every day or every week at the very least. So the mm -hmm. transition might take a little while to move to a one, well, not 100%, but an 80% alkaline. That's yeah. even, that's, that's difficult. So Tom Brady, okay, so, um, Tom Brady is on, um, Partido muy famoso aquí. He's like a, a football player. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Un, un jugador. Un jugador. Uh, famoso. Famoso. Famoso eh, que usa la dieta alkaline. Dieta oh, alkaline. Really? Sí. So he's a, a sport player and he, he does the alkaline diet? Sí. But I, I don't like football. <laughs> but I mean that that speaks a lot like because they they need to they need to eat very well they need to eat very well to be able to 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 keep up with the with the matches and stuff I guess so let's see um mm -hmm. chip pronunciation generalmente bebo café con leche generalmente bebo café con leche es verdad es verdad I drink generally I drink coffee with milk. I drink coffee with milk. No, generally, generally. Oh, yeah. I see. Generalmente, generally. Eh, chip. Eh, puedes, puedes comer cualquier eh, producto uh, lácteo. Oh, la la lácteo. Sí, yes, no, like, no es problema. Para, para mí no es problema. Ok. Uh, Dustin, do you understand lácteo? Sí, sí. Uh, no es no problema para mí. Um, y me gusta leche, pero no tome mucho. O no tomo mucho. Ok. Sí, yo, Good. yo también. Remember, yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. Yeah. Remember, me neither, yo tampoco. Me too. Yo también. Uh, uh, oh, okay. 
So they're approximately Dustin uh, the same age. So ellos y son aproximadamente la misma edad. De la misma edad. Let's do it again. Ellos son aproximadamente de la misma edad. Ellos son aproximadamente. I can't. These long syllable words. Ellos son aproximadamente de la misma edad. Okay, Chip. Let's do that one. Ellos son. Ellos son aproximadamente, aproximadamente de yeah. la misma edad. Yeah, I mean those those words are like like tongue twisters for 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 Spanish learners. Like sí. I, yeah. I only realized that when I started teaching that we've got so long words that they're just like. <laughs> Okay, so this one, Chip, pronunciation. Um, es completamente posible. Es completamente posible. It's completely yes, so possible. It's completely possible, yes. Uh, Dustin, you have approximately one month. Tienes un mes y próximamente. Tienes aproximadamente y un mes. Yes, good. Okay, nice. So, uh, Dustin, remember that one of the biggest deals when it comes to pronunciation is the vowels. E, E. Yeah, so, ah, so, e. so oh. like, like pronouncing each one of the vowels, like you should definitely watch your pronunciation, especially when reading those long words. Okay. okay? So, generalmente, pronunciation. General, generalmente, generally. Yes. And uh, Chip, are you there? Sí. Yes, okay. This so, okay. so, Chip, this one, they are approximately two boys. Uh, okay. They are approximately two boys. Ellos, uh, um, ellos son aproximadamente diez niños. Diez niños, yes, nice. Uh, okay. Uh, Dustin, generalmente comemos pescado los viernes. Generalmente uh, comimos pescado los viernes. Yeah, what's uh, that? We generally eat fish on Fridays. Fish on Fridays, yes. Okay. Uh, Chip, ¿qué comes generalmente los fines de semana? So, Chip, how do you how do you respond? How, do, how would you answer this question? ¿Qué comes generalmente los fines de semana? Hmm. Chip, you there? Oh no, he's not. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Dustin, how how would you answer that that question? Uh, no lo generalmente, pero uh, me encanta. A uh, me encanta a comer pizza en los fines de semana. Me encanta comer pizza los fines de semana. Again? Sí. Me encanta comer pizza en los fines de semana. De semana. So, we would just say pizza los fines de semana. Los fines de semana. Yes, let's do it again. Me encanta comer pizza los fines de semana. Me encanta comer pizza los fines de semana. Like, you know, one of the reasons I hate pizza, but not because of the taste, but I, I don't know if it's the same case in the States. I don't know why, but here in Colombia, pizza, in my opinion, is overpriced. <laughs> like, oh. like, See, like, like it, if you compare it with, with other dishes, like Mexican food, like, like, um, what's the other, um, like Peruvian food, like, like very good stuff. And, and it's the same price or even more expensive, but it hasn't got as many ingredients as, as one of these oh. meals that you have. Like, es you understand what they are? Yeah? Sí, sí. Like, you've got big pizzas and cheap or? Eh, por ejemplo, like, uh, dos pizzas is like, um, Domino's is like, uh, 14 dollars. 
Two big pizzas? Like two larges would be like two for fourteen ninety nine or two for like twelve ninety nine. Wow. I mean, that's cheap, yeah. But but here is like no, definitely not. Not here is like like pizza is not definitely a cheap food to eat. Well, in my oh. opinion, like I never I, I never order pizza because of that because I think that I can like I always get better food for the same price. Okay, is la comida de México muy buena en Colombia? Well, I'm the sort of person who isn't picky with food because I don't cook. También. <laughs> so, so, but I what what I what I try to do all the time is that whenever I'm going to to try new food, or if if I don't know about a specific like there is this place I forgot it's um I think it's Indian food, I think okay. it was Indian food. So what I do is that I ask friends to recommend good places. So like the ones that I know who are all the time ordering food from from fancy places, whenever I want to get good stuff, I just ask them. I'm I'm like, hey, give me a suggestion. I'll just ask whatever you tell me to ask to to order from the restaurant. And I'll just order it. So that's what I usually do when it comes to that. So okay, uh, let's. Hey, Chip. Uh, <laughs> okay. Don't don't worry. So I was asking. I was asking, que, this one, ¿qué comes generalmente los fines de semana? ¿Qué comes generalmente los fines de semana? Uh, what do you generally eat on the weekend? Yes. Right? Yeah. Wow. Um, la misma cosa que cada día. No so diferente the, de... Para mí, no. No? I, 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 I like... De... What? ¿Por qué es diferente el fin de semana de lunes y martes? I mean, technically speaking, it's not, but I like spicing it up. Like, that's how I recognize weekends right now. By, 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 oh. by, by, by trying or eating something that I don't usually eat. So that way I kind of know, like, it feels like weekend. It feels like we can try something different. So, <laughs> although I do, I do the same things, but I don't know. I like spicing things up, even in, in this quarantine thing. It, um, it, Free yourself. Cuando yo fui a Medellín, uh, yo recuerdo un restaurante muy popular in, in Medellín, pero no there in los Estados Unidos. Es Juan, Val, Juan Valde, Valdez? But that's cafe. more of a, yeah, exactly. That's more of a cafe thing. Juan Valdez, yes. ¿Y te gusta? Mm, I mean, that's a coffee shop. I mean, I, I don't, like, there are a bunch of those in Medellín, like that kind of style. But sí, es muy popular. Yeah, I mean, there are many people who go there, but since uh, we got Starbucks, which you've, you've got in the States, uh, then... Sí. Many people just prefer Starbucks. For me, it's the same shit. I, I don't I don't think they're good places. Neither of them. Okay. Neither Starbucks or or Juan Bal I just it's not a place I would pick to go with anybody. Like Seriously. I only meet people there when they tell me like let's meet up there. I'm like okay yeah let's go there. But but no, it's not my decision. If it's my decision, I would never go. Okay. So, well, I, I, I don't like Starbucks I like, either. But I remember the Juan Valdez is like man like. That was kind of like Starbucks here. Like people were like, you know, big yeah, lines. Exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. It's like the Colombian, the Colombian Starbucks, if you will. <laughs> so, hey, Jim, uh, that that is your mask, right? That's what you put on when you're talking to people. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the first time I was like, oh, he looks so stylish. And then he was like, no, this is a mask that I use because I haven't got masks. Like, I see people wearing masks, but, but I don't know where to get them. So it was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Are you so, not, guys. Are you okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us, tell us. What were you saying? No, no, no. Una persona a mi puerta, and so I had to put on my mask with that. Yeah, so you haven't gotten a mask. Like, like isn't there, like, a shop or a supermarket where you can get it? No, they, they make my glasses fog up. Okay. Or like, 
Okay. Okay, guys. So um, we'll we're done for today. Um, okay. We'll be okay. meeting. Um, well, Dustin, you will let me know when you want to schedule the next lesson. Okay. And I'll sure. let Chip know when Dustin tell me that that he want or he can book the lesson, so we can have the lesson like this again. Okay. 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 So I'll talk to you next week probably, and have a great weekend. Okay. Adios. Guys, bye-bye.